Hey guys, Hopkern here with another Let's Play of Dead Cells. So let's get straight to where we left off from last time. We actually did, uh, did we do okay? I think we did okay. Yeah, we did okay. 30,000. It's quite quite good. Uh, heavy crossbow. Actually, I might take heavy crossbow and swap it for the sword. I just want to quickly check here uh, how many times we tried the challenge bit. Um, Challenge, challenge, challenge. Where will it be? Combat, deaths, no. Challenge failed, 36. Secret area discovered, 37, which is pretty cool. Still haven't beaten a. Still haven't beaten a. Um... Oh, I don't know who was going to win there. Haven't been a challenger. It'd be, it'd be cool to. We did try. We tried quite a lot last time, and we gave it all. I do like how this is kind of like a shotgun mechanic. It might be in our interest to swap the bleeding or well, the blood shield for. So just so we get like more of an offense run here. Um, kind of stuck if you can't really do much with your crossbow. So we've got two kebabs there. Keep an eye out for more runes. Did find out that we could actually destroy doors such as these. 40? Okay. This isn't going to go well, but we can revive anyway, I think. I don't know if the curse excludes us from that or not. I'm not taking any chances with him. There's a challenge rune up there. I'm going to have to do it with one of like, the last few enemies. Nice bit of amethyst. Finish this guy off, easily done. And there's Toxic Sewer's exit, brilliant. We'll teleport back. We have 33 enemies to get rid of before they get rid of us. Nevertheless, that's okay. Fires an arrow upwards, high booster boots, booster scales, and double damage. Rolling ignites the ground for three seconds, that's pretty cool. Uh, can't really give up the Heart right now. Um, we'll go. I mean, the high boost boots aren't even that. No. We'll do it another time. Found myself face to face with the wrong enemy. There we go. I hate the shielded guys. They're always like, like my biggest not worry, but um, biggest difficulty to get over when I'm doing sort of these sort of runs, where we're pressured for taking damage. I fell down. Oh god, that would have been bad. Alright, I'll pay for this. No more breaking open the big doors. Kind of 40 hit, like, kills without being hit. A bit much, you know. Please don't be tons of enemies. Oh, thank god. I wouldn't be, wouldn't have been able to handle them at all. Alright, not seen a rune in a while. Should we this dude to deal with here? Take this one out. Easily done. Got another dude up here. Right, says HP strength. I go strength for now. Just because taking the enemies out faster is more of a priority, especially with the curse that we've given ourselves. So where are we missing? Missing. 
the L3 bit. We'll just check for a couple more enemies. Might be nothing, but it's always worth the check. Yeah, it is nothing. Definitely not going to the L3. 17 more enemies to beat before we actually get rid of this curse. So now we're learning a bit more about the curse and breaking down certain doors. Certain doors gives a much heavier penalty, especially for a revival. So that kind of sucks. But it's good to learn anyway. Good to find out about it. Instead of doing it in like more of a clutch situation and end up regretting it. So we've got eight. Oh, eight cells? That's a bit short. Anyway, um. We're using now the crossbow and the blood sword. So we'll just finish putting in that for now. Because I can see myself changing these weapons around. And. Right, after the promenade of the condemned. Hmm. So I, th I think, um. Not the strongest. I mean, we've got good, good sex like selection of skills. Let's check up here. Yeah, it's still empty. Oh, you would test me. There we go. What? Come on! I like was taking that guy out, I rolled. That guy who only did like a, a short range melee hit. I want to argue that, but we can't. We just lost. Uh, hopefully our money didn't take too much of a hit. We are saving a lot more considering keeping 85%. So not too much of a loss all in all. Money's not a worry. We'll take the heavy crossbow. Assassin's Dagger works well too. No more breaking the um, doors. It's not taboo to do it, but it's just one less worry that we have to deal with. Especially not a, um, a 40 kill door with a curse like that. That's just crazy. Anyway. Take this guy out, search for runes, do the usual sweep, and he'll check out. I think there's a shop here. Alright, so boost greed shield, freeze when you parry, that's pretty cool, like kind of like an ice shield going on there. Fire torrent, pretty neat. Boost on frozen target, and all damage dealt to nearby enemies. I wouldn't pay for that. You know what? Go for the shield. Boost the skills. Freezes enemies. It's not bad. Toxic Cloud when they die. Like, that's burning and poison. We'll pick this up for now as well. So we got burning synergy with the frozen one there. Not too bad. There's chest over here, just giving us everything to start with. Not much of a challenge so far. Poison when you parry. It's pretty cool, but. So, not quite froze. But, dude, I'll take that. That's a thousand gold. So, it seems like the greed shield doesn't. Oh, runes. Seems like the greed shield kind of has a chance of dropping now a um, an ore. Right, this grenade needs to know its place. So we have the broadsword. Eh, it's just standard, nothing special. Big flurry of enemies, but nothing we can't handle. Never any stress or worry. We had that block. Come on. I think I'm just trying to incorporate my shield action a bit more here. There we go. We do have an upgrade just up here. We'll go into strength. We've already got HP one. Got a skills one from our shield, which ain't bad as well. Right, this is the exit. 
think uh, we'll go back this way, try and find a different route to give us possibly one more upgrade. I reckon we could squeeze another one out of this. Special, another rune. Nearly missed it. Amethyst. Like it much more than just your usual small little rune. Uh, Ilga Oxley Ox. That's another. Yeah, three thousand. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've only seen it on the first floor, so. It's, it's something special to carry, but it means you don't get any other. Don't get the opportunity to carry any more um, other, like. necklaces or, or trinkets around your neck to actually boost. sort of what you're. Um, what you're doing. I don't know. Uh, didn't say it was last time. That's because we. We'll buy it now. We'll buy it for now. Come on. There we go. Just walk in. Pay for it and then don't pick it up. Best style will play that. Um, okay, so we didn't squeeze any more of that, but we got a HP up. I think Toxic Sewers or the Ossery or Promenade. We could squeeze, just want to squeeze a few more upgrades out, so we'll go the normal way, see how we fare against the Watcher. That is our goal. We are trying to aim for that. We want to actually sort of. I mean, we've approached, we've approached the watch with quite a strong run so far. Oh, I thought it was on the dagger. My bad. Just completely missed that. Yeah, so it's, um, we've come to the watch and we've, we've kind of faced the watch a few times. Haven't really, I mean, we got close, closest we got was the first time. Um, the lures are definitely useful against the tentacles. It kind of gives us a spare moment that we can heal up. So I think definitely if we find a lure and we can make it all the way across, that would actually really help. Right, so this greed shield isn't quite freezing enemies as I expect, it's more like a slowdown. Ooh, that was nasty. There we go, clear the enemies out. Brilliant little play from the flamethrower there. I think, uh... Alright, let's see what we've got here. Boost on stun target. You know, gotta take it. Assassin's Dagger's a bit weak for us right now. So... We'll go for it. I think it incorporates a bit more of... A, um... Shield and sword tactic. Especially get trying to get that stun in. However, there we go. We do get like a guaranteed critical after a bit anyway. I think after on your third hit. So I do like the style of this sword. We haven't actually had it in a while. That guy, I was wondering why that guy up there just died. He just kind of walked into the spikes. So, missed that by nearly three minutes. No worries, I think um, one day we're going to get like more of a speed run. Or where that day comes.
we'll just have to, um, yeah, I think we'll then try our best to sort of unlock the uh, time door in the ossuary. We need to get like a strong and fast start. So I think we just get a slowdown from the shield, not the best frozen synergy that I expected with it. But yeah, it's not the end of the world. We can uh, we can always replace the shield. We'll find something better in the long run. Just take this guy out. There we go. Well, right, heal up. This is silly. So we got that elite grenade really doing a number on us. Yeah, take out all the enemies around him first before we actually like take a few hits on him. There we go, flamethrower just kind of sorts it out for us. Boost on burning and boost on stunned. We'll take that over the weapons we've got so far. I like the broadsword, however, it is it is slow. It's got a nice uh, flamble oil kind of synergy with a lore there. That's not bad. Um, boost on stun targets, and half the time you get stun targets anyway when you do surprise them. Like so. Having the broadsword, it is a bit slower, so I don't really like the style of play as much. However, it's not it's not bad, especially with this like stun synergy going on. Let's check out what's down here. Maybe a chest. Alright, I had to take a hit then because we were blocking the other guy. Good range on the weapon though, so I'll give it that. Right, so, come on, we had the block there. Stop being just out of my reach. This is doing my head in. Boost strength, that's cool. Boost on poison. Frost related slowdown lasts a lot longer. Damage reduced by 10%. We're still rocking the um, Ilga Heart Ox thingy image. So basically the plus one life. We'll stick with that. Nothing in the shot really interests me. The Assassin Dagger with Booster Strand, that was nice, but I think it's better to have like a synergy boost. Because one strength, ultimately, if you look at it, one strength could boost you by quite a bit initially. And then um, I think I'd rather have a weapon like a boost on burning targets. Gives a stronger um, like boost to damage in the long run, really. There's a rumor. Completely missed that. With the shape of this run and how it's gone so far, we've taken a lot of damage, so I can't see us doing too well on this one. Right, close call already. Didn't know what to do there. Ugh. I saw one of them turn and the other was doing like, I'm not going to get hit close enough. Should have used my lure. Kind of already forgot that I had that. Right. We'll 
keep heading onwards. We're at the end now, so that's not bad. Head straight up to the ramparts. I think we've covered everywhere on the map. Everywhere that we can, anyway. So yeah, we'll leave it now. Um, not a bad sword. It kind of doesn't do like a stun on most enemies, anyway. Not quite as well as the Nutcracker. But, nevertheless, it's not bad. It could do with a better damage improvement on it when um, when we're using it. So I'll put 10 back in this one. Um, we'll also put, put some of the high abuse of boots. I'm not looking to upgrade the Brotog because I can't see myself keeping it. The entire run. Uh, we might be stuck with it, who knows. But you know, I can see myself switching up. Definitely gonna. S well, don't know yet with the uh, green shield. It's kind of like it's. It gives us a skill boost still. So it does hold value in the fact that, well, we don't really need it all the time. I think a shield is more useful, especially with a broadsword, considering we are a bit. A bit slower to strike. Like so. We're not, as you can see, we're not quite strong enough yet to take Bowman out in one hit, which would be ideal, especially at the rampart stage. So we are looking to upgrade our strength. HP needs an upgrade too. Drop on these guys. There we go. Got a room back here to check. Nice little HP recovery there. Little air stomp. Kind of cute. Not the best tactical play, but it worked. All right, keep forging onwards. Got. Yeah, we can't go to that area to the right. That's another area that we come down in a minute. Nice golden arrow. Not sure if we get more for arrows or it's just the fact they're on a different level that we get more gold now. Not for you. No chance of opening you. I'm not sure if we've already opened you once before. I think we have. Seven minutes ago. That means we'd have to do it. Can't get up. Yeah, no more runes here. Um, there we go. Seven minutes ago. It's got to be, what, six minutes or so? There we go. Finished him with um, pure boot, boot strength. Boot, boot. There we go. Shouldn't know worth a bit today. Don't know why. Stage right. Now. Oh, that guy got the jump on us. Thought we slammed him. Gave it a miss. Alright. Gotta watch out for like the um, third stage. Enough! Damn bird. There we go. That dude just stung my flamethrower, of all things to do. Alright, for. There we go. Wait for the shield guy, because we all know shield guys are just a pain in the ass. Got his chest. This is lovely. Let's see what we get. Lightning. Bolt 4. Boost on bleeding and frozen. Can't freeze the enemies. Because Grease Shield just doesn't do that. So we'll give that a pass. I think I'd like to see the status ability with the lightning skill.
head up this way. Roll, finish off. Smash him down. Lovely. And move on to this next area. I thought we had that burning synergy with the lure and the flamethrower, pretty cool. I think the problem with the lure is that there's got to be enemies around. Not the lure, sorry. The synergy there, flamethrower. I mean, there's always going to be enemies. Flamethrower got destroyed quite quickly. Probably a drawback from um, synergizing with the lure. In fact, they use it next time. Whoa. They're gonna kill me again. What? Come on, I brought the HP back up. Died within two seconds of each other. Alright, I think, especially against the birds and smaller enemies, the broadsword really does have a drawback there. I think um, we'll leave it for this episode. We are a bit shorter than normal, about 20, 26, 27 minutes. But um, hopefully we'll come back, bounce back to our usual self. We'll actually get to the watch stage or a bit further than the ramparts at least um, in the next episode. But if you enjoyed the video, click the like button below. It helps out a lot. Subscribe to tune in for more. And until next time, guys, I've been Harper.